Welcome to Fortune Tech Debate, where we debate the issues of the day in two minutes. Today we're talking about the New York versus Los Angeles tech scene. All right, let's put two minutes on the clock. Go, Aaron. Okay, so I know it is annoying to pit tech rivalry and tech, tech cities against each other. Silicon in everything. A rivalry, yeah, in a rivalry, um, because it's not a zero-sum game. But if we are counting, oh, we uh, are. New York has long been the number two uh, city for tech startups for the past at least five or six years as far as funding, as far as companies started, as far as venture capital firms, and as far as angel investment goes. They have really been thriving over the last five or but six years. But what <laughs> have you done for me lately, New York? I okay. mean, come on. What are the grand IPOs that have come out of New York? I it's mean, there's, there have been so many companies that, that had held so much promise and it didn't happen, right? Guild Group didn't work. That Fab didn't yeah. work. Uh, I mean, even Rent the Runway has been on kind of weird, sure. I, I, you know, thin ice lately. I, I'm very bullish on LA and look no further than the beautiful Snap Incorporated <laughs> for all the money they're going to raise. This is going to be one of the biggest tech IPOs of all time, I think, and that shows that LA's here. Okay, well, I think that's very important. A tech scene does need a tentpole company, one of those big publicly traded companies that yes. will spin off angel investors, and people will start their own companies, and you'll have your own little Snap Mafia, hopefully, in LA. Great. And New York... Our IPOs have been a little bit weak. Etsy and OnDeck both not really trading so well. But I would argue that we have a lot more. Our bench is deeper. We have a lot more unicorns that are on their way to going public. There's WeWork. There's Blue Apron. Um, there's a lot more sort of in that $1 to $5 billion range that are about to go public. And Los Angeles has <laughs> plenty of its own. I mean, look no further than Cornerstone On Demand, which is, a you know, fa to be honest, a, a fairly unsexy company but it's because it's enterprise. But it's quite valuable. It's, it's trading much higher than it's than its original IPO price, and that's really lovely. I mean, there are others. Uh, let's not forget Oculus, even though we associate it with F Facebook, its owner. Oculus started in L.A. There are great companies coming out of L.A., and look, to be honest, and it's that's a good That's a good point, great. because a lot of the New York companies, the ones that have sold and been great exits, have actually sold to Valley companies, and we need more New York companies to be staying here and going public for it to work. So that's one point Snapchat, or L.A. has going for it. L.A. All right, <laughs> come to Fortune.com for more tech to be.